Hello, uh, my name's Tim Morgan. I'm a second year PhD student at the University of Glasgow. Um, and I'm jo jointly funded by the EPSRC and the Neurosciences Foundation. So today I'm just going to talk briefly about how organic chemistry um, affects my research. So depending on who you are um, or what your background is, uh, the word organic conjures up uh, different meanings. So in, in this context, it refers to the molecules of life, but uh, not in developing healthy fruit and vegetables. Now these compounds found in nature are predominantly based on carbon and hydrogen, um, elements that form the backbone of animal cells and plant walls, and are even used as sources of power in the form of gas and coal. Now, organic chemistry really began in the mid-19th century. Uh, before this, there was a theory that the molecules of life uh, contained vital life force. Uh, this was known as um, vitalism, and this uh, distinguished the molecules of life from uh, those of metals and gases. It wasn't until 1856 that a organic chemistry really came into the fold, and that was through an English scientist by the name of William Perkin. Uh, and at the tender age of 18, uh, Perkin was attempting the synthesis of the drug uh, quinine, which was used to treat malaria. Uh, instead, he accidentally made a dye, which was now known as Perkin's morve. So this was such a financial success, and Perkin's rather serendipitous discovery of an organic dye led scientists from all over to abandon their theory of vitalism, and it began the pursuit of new molecules based on those of life. So in the late 19th century, uh, scientists developed the drug aspirin, and this was using their newly formed knowledge of organic chemistry, and the pharmaceutical industry was born. So nowadays, there are groups from all over the world working in organic chemistry. Uh, the research is divided into those who try and synthesize complicated molecules, um, uh, those who develop new reactions to make interesting structures, and those like myself who synthesize a range of compounds that may have biological properties. So how does organic chemistry tie in with my research? Um, think of an organic reaction like a tool, um, in a toolbox, and the chemist is a bit like the workman. Uh, using these tools, I intend to develop organic compounds that can be used to understand and aid the treatment of multiple sclerosis. So thank you very much for listening.